Hello students and welcome to our drag demo execution video. Before we jump into the cockpit, let's quickly discuss the objective of this maneuver and some key factors that we'll be focusing on. The objective of this maneuver is to demonstrate how various air speeds and configurations will affect an aircraft's performance while maneuvering OEI or one engine inoperative. This is a demonstration only maneuver and at the time of the recording of this video, it is only required for the MEI checkride. In this maneuver execution video, we will not be covering detailed aerodynamics, maneuver diagrams, common student errors, or the ACS standards. This video is to simply explain and demonstrate the execution of the maneuver and will vary based on the aircraft you are flying. To see all the additional details we just mentioned and to study this lesson's full length presentation, podcast, diagrams, flashcards, lesson quiz and a whole bunch more look up at the drag demo lesson on our website at wifi.cfi.com lastly before we jump into the cockpit there are a couple key factors that we need to cover regarding this maneuver we will begin in the practice area at an altitude of 3000 feet agl because this is a safe altitude for us to complete all of the different various configurations we will also assume that we have already completed our necessary clearing turns Next, we will establish the proper entry configuration by reducing our left throttle to a simulated feather position while increasing our right throttle to full power, all while maintaining our heading. What I mean by a simulated feather position is we're going to bring our left throttle basically all the way back to idle, but then we're going to go ahead and bump in just a little bit more power on that left engine. That is going to simulate that our left engine is dead, but that we have also decided to feather the prop, so there's a little bit less drag. All right, our right throttle is going to be at idle, our left throttle is going to be basically dead but bumped up just a tiny bit to simulate a left feathered engine and then we'll go ahead and jump into the different fluctuations. We'll begin with our airspeed fluctuations. So in this configuration we will first trim the airplane, pitch the airplane for our VYSE speed, our blue line, which in this airplane is 89 knots and we'll note the performance. So we'll look at the vertical speed indicator, we'll see we're at 89 knots and this is the performance that we're getting. Next, we'll go ahead and slow down to a speed that is below VYSE and we'll note the, VY, or the vertical speed performance. We'll note the aircraft performance again. And then, obviously, we're gonna go ahead and speed up to an airspeed above VYSE, so maybe 100 knots, and note the aircraft's performance. After going through those three airspeed fluctuations, we'll go ahead and return to VYSE, our blue line, 89 knots, and we'll begin the configuration fluctuations. So, maintaining 89 knots, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and extend our landing gear, and we'll note our aircraft performance. We'll say, how good is it doing now with landing gear down? We'll then go ahead and retract our landing gear and extend our flaps. So landing gear is gonna be up now, flaps are gonna be down. We'll note the performance again, how good are we doing on our aircraft performance? Lastly, we'll go ahead and extend the landing gear. So now we have both the landing gear and the flaps extended and we'll note the aircraft's performance. Lastly, we will finish with windmilling variations on the left propeller. So with the landing gear and flaps extended and the airspeed at our VYSE, we will simulate a windmilling left engine by reducing the left engine to throttle. Remember, it's gonna be just a couple of inches above throttle. Now we're gonna go ahead and bring it back to throttle. Or sorry, back to idle. In this situation, this is gonna be the most drag that we have on the airplane because we're gonna have a windmilling propeller, our landing gear is gonna be extended, and our flaps are gonna be extended. This should be the point where you get the worst aircraft performance because you have a ton of drag. It's obviously gonna vary, vary sorry, based on which aircraft that you're flying, but typically with all this drag you're gonna have very poor performance. So next we need to start cleaning everything up again. We're going to leave that left engine at throttle at idle, so still windmilling on the left engine's prop, but then we'll go ahead and retract our landing gear and our flaps and we'll note the performance. What we're looking at here is with a left windmilling propeller, but with our gear and flaps up, now how good are we doing on our performance? Then lastly, we'll finally reintroduce that left throttle to another feathered position, bringing it up just a little bit in power, renote the airplane performance, and then we will have completed all of the different variations, at which point we can go ahead and return the airplane to cruise flight. We'll cover the rest in the airplane, show you how it all works. Let's head out there and get it done.
All right, welcome out to our airplane where we are going to do our drag demonstration for our multi-engine airplane uh, with all the different speeds, configurations, and everything like that. I'm not going to re-go over them here because I went over them in the description and key items part of the video right before this. So if you need a refresher, go back, watch that again. We're just going to go ahead and do the steps that we talked about at that part. Just want to show you how we had the airplane set up. We're at a nice safe altitude, 7,500 feet. We're going to assume we've already done our clearing turns and we've bugged our outside visual reference heading right there. So I'll show you altitude, heading bugged, outside visual reference here. Your speed looks pretty good. We will unpause the flight simulator. I'm going to simulate that left dead engine feathered. So I'm going to bring the throttle back, my left throttle all the way back to idle, right throttle to full, and then I'll bump in just a little bit more power on my left uh, throttle to simulate that feathered condition. Then we'll go through the different air speeds will be at VYC, above, below VYC, and then we'll do the configurations with the gear and flaps, and then we'll do the windmilling prop. And we'll note our performance as we go. So, let's go ahead and hop into it. I'm going to get the uh, autopilot kicked off here, and then I'm going to retrim the airplane as the autopilot comes off. Okay. Looking good here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and bring this left throttle back to idle. I'm going to get my right throttle all the way to full. And then I'm going to bump in a little bit of power on my left engine to simulate a feathered left engine. That looks pretty good there. We're going to start to trim for our VYSE and see what our performance is on the airplane. Now throughout this maneuver demonstration it's just a very, it's slow. Um, it's not a very fast maneuver to get through. I'm just kind of know that as we get started. Watch my heading, airspeed, everything like that. BYSC is 89, so we're going to get to that 89 and note what our performance looks like. Great, so here at 89, looks like we're getting about 500 feet per minute on our climb. Let's go ahead and go down to 79 on our airspeed and see what our climb performance looks like. Now it may kind of initially look better, but we gotta stabilize the plate at 79 and see what it looks like. Give it just a second. So at 79-ish, looks like we're start starting to slow down now. We're only getting 300 feet a minute. So it's not as good as VYSE. Let's speed up to 100 which is about 10 knots above our VYSE and see how that does, or see how that looks. Almost to a hundred. Bumping around a little bit with the turbulence, but we're at a hundred and it looks like we are descending 200 feet a minute. So definitely not as good as VOIC. Let's head back over to our blue line. Start trimming back up for that VOIC. And I think I'm gonna make a, I think I'm actually gonna make a turn here. We're gonna turn back around. Get a little further from the mountain so we're not so close. So we're not getting that kind of turbulence here. All right, we went, a, we went ahead and cut out that 180 degree turn. You didn't have to sit there and watch us do that. We were just trying to get away from the mountains for the turbulence so that this can be a little bit better of a demonstration. So now we're on our heading 180. We're at our blue line. Next thing we're gonna do is extend our landing gear and see how our performance looks. Extend our landing gear and we'll stay at our blue line with our our VYSE, sorry, of 89 knots. With our landing gear down, we'll note our performance. How's the plane doing with the gear down? Wow, surprisingly, the simulator showing the plane doing pretty good. Maybe I just gotta get it stabilized a little bit. Anyways, you can see we're still getting a little bit of a climb, even with the gear down. 
but I am going a little bit slower, so maybe I'll trim down just a touch. But it's not as good as with the gear up, obviously, without that drag. Let's go ahead and retract our landing gear now. Stay at our VYSE and see how our performance looks. Landing gear is retracted. Trim it for VYSE. And you'll see our vertical speed will start to come back up. Great, much better. A couple hundred feet more a minute. Great. Now let's do it with our flaps. So I'm going to extend the flaps all the way down. Stay at our VYSC, see our performance is doing. So you notice I got to really nose that air, the nose over the airplane here. So we don't get going too slow. As you can probably already tell, the flaps have a very detrimental effect on the performance of this airplane. I am pitching way down, it's still not at BYSC. We're getting negative seven, eight hundred feet a minute. Let's go ahead and just drop our landing gear while we're down here too. And show you how bad it can get. Like eight hundred feet a minute or so. Even at BYSC with our flaps and our gear in, we're getting a significant decrease in performance. Last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pretend like we have just have a windmilling left engine instead of that feathered left engine. What we're going to do to simulate that is just bring our left engine all the way back to idle instead of having a little bit of power on it. That's going to show us a windmilling left engine. So now we have our gear down, our flaps are in, and a windmilling left engine. That's a, we're going to have terrible, terrible performance because we have a ton of drag in this configuration. Let's start to clean it up. Let's go ahead and retract our flaps all the way up and retract our landing gear up. But we're gonna leave our propeller windmilling to see the effect of a windmilling propeller. One that is not feathered. And it's kind of hard when you're just simulating it because getting the power just right for the feathered, yeah, I mean, you gotta kind of be very familiar with your, your airplane to get it, you know, just right of what it would actually be. So, wind milling it's showing us is we're even just getting a little bit of a climb, which you may or may not in your airplane. Remember, all planes are different. And then I'm going to bring it back up to that simulated feather, so I'm going to bring in a little power. There's a little simulated feather. And note the performance one last time. Trim it down, stay in RBYs. And you can see it's obviously much better. So this is the best configuration that you can have. Being at VYSE, you've got your gear up, your flaps are retracted, you do not have a windmilling propeller, you have a feathered propeller. The least amount of drag, as you can see, looking at our climb performance, is going to give us the best climb performance. I'm going to go ahead and bring that left throttle back up now. Kind of neutralize this. Staying on my heading. Getting back kind of into a cruise configuration. But you can see that any variation to that to the least amount of drag is going to give you worse aircraft performance. So if you're not at VYSC, if you don't have if you have your gear down or your flaps in or you haven't feathered your propeller then you are going to have worse performance. And that is the purpose of the drag demonstration for students, showing them we want to clean up that drag, we want to stay at our best airspeed and have that engine feathered, that is going to give us our greatest climb, our most time in the air, to come up with an emergency plan, head to the nearest airport for landing, whatever it may be, when we lose an engine in flight. And that's it. Thanks for joining us on this one, guys. We'll see you on the next one coming up soon.